Welcome back to the channel. Today, we've got some seriously mind-blowing news in the gaming world. Brace yourselves because we're diving into a topic that's both strange and intriguing. Imagine this, a PC made with actual human blood. You heard it right. Blizzard, in their latest promo for Diablo 4, introduced an event called Blood Harvest. It's not your usual sweepstakes. They're encouraging gamers to donate blood between October 20th and November 20th. The goal? To collect at least 666 quarts of blood. Donating blood is undoubtedly a noble cause, but here's where it gets bizarre. If they reach their goal, they're giving away a custom liquid-cooled PC infused with real human blood. Yes, you heard that correctly, real human blood in your gaming rig. It's undoubtedly one of the weirdest marketing schemes ever. Moving on from the blood-filled PC, let's talk about NVIDIA supercards. According to some fresh leaks, NVIDIA might be releasing new supercards. The 4080 Super is rumored to come with a whopping 20 gigabytes of VRAM. That's a significant boost. The details suggest it could be built on the same GPU as the 4090 with a 320-bit bus. Rumor has it that the 4080 Super might be priced similarly to the regular 4080, making it a fantastic deal. Shifting gears to AMD, we've got some exclusive news about the Ryzen 8000 CPUs. A leaked benchmark for the Ryzen 9 8950X shows promising results. Even though it's an engineering sample, the single-core score is up by 12%, and the multi-core score has seen a 10% increase compared to the current 7950X. Remember, these are early stages, and AMD is working hard to optimize and enhance the final release. And now, some unfortunate news for PC gamers. Game requirements have been on the rise, and it seems like it's reaching new heights. The upcoming game Alan Wake 2's requirements have been revealed. You'd need at least an RTX 2060 or RX 6600 for 1080p low settings. What's even more shocking is that older GPUs like NVIDIA's 1000 series and AMD's 5000 series are officially not supported due to the lack of compatibility with mesh shaders. It's a tough blow for gamers using these cards, and it's sparking some serious conversations about the industry's direction. Until next time, happy gaming, and have a fantastic day.